It was the season of distress. It was the age of famine and overpopulousness. It was the time of smoking chimneys and railroads, of slums and brickbats, monster charters and bread riots, of new model prisons and poor law bastilles. The world was coming to an end. But he had an idea how to save it and make it whole again. An ellipse, a geometric eccentricity, a new law for a new world. First, though, he had to plane the surface of the old, for one cannot, you see, do good work on a poor surface. He was ready to do his duty, ready finally to be. Daniel McNaughton, unremarkable in every regard, save for the fact that he was hatless and held the dead weight of a brace of pistols against his breast. He marked the comings and goings, their thick heeled boots, the hiss of their cigar ends. Heads, tails, he didn't mind how it came down. It was all the same to him. He no longer believed in fate. You can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of others. You can judge the heart of a man. You can judge the heart of a man. You can judge the heart of a man. And in that moment, he truly believed that he was witnessing. <laughs>